welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel my dear friends today's topic is again very interesting because viral fever is very very common and also we will discuss about influenza or the flu so this topic is very important for the medical students of the third or fourth year bms as well as for the medical general practice so this video is useful for the doctors as well and of course for the common man to increase their general knowledge so myself is professor dr r r deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology this is kai chikitsa in ayurved and this is sharira kriya or the kriya sharira for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes you can whatsapp me on 9226810 Six three zero. Actually, if you want to search this particular video, you can have a checklist over here. In the playlist of my Ayurveda Academy, you can find this video in the menu of Kaya Chikitsa and Internal Medicine. On my channel, you will find all the subjects from the first year BMS, second year BMS, third year BMS, and what not. Each and every subject of BAMS is covered in my playlist. so let us discuss about the viral fever this is the lecture under the topic or under the subject kai chikitsa lecture now this is useful for fourth year bms but uh, from 2022 actually this uh, course has been changed i have already uploaded the video regarding how the bms course has changed in spite of the four year bms course now that is a, a three years course each having one and half years so now kai chikitsa will come in the third year bms from 2022 but the topics and the subjects will be the same so nothing to be worried about this video will be useful for next i can say 20 30 years for all the students and all the doctors so this is based on ccm syllabus now there is another organization uh, paper 1 and part b point number 1 fever fever is a jwara in ayurved and this is viral fever and influenza are the topics included in this particular part of syllabus what is viral fever see the clinical features fevers of short duration usually 4 to 5 days found in the general practice gp means general medical practice and this viral fever is basically not related with any bacteria not related with any fungus infection this is viral and virus usually is a self limiting diseases viral diseases are usually self limiting what does it mean self limiting if you take a symptomatic treatment and if you take the proper rest that particular disease will automatically come down or it will go it will be get cured the disease will be get cured automatically with proper rest and proper symptomatic treatment in spite of antiviral we use the symptomatic treatment no localizing symptom or signs of particular symptom so there will not be any cough there will not be any loose motions there will not be any vomiting there will not be any neurological signs are you getting my point may like meningitis ha huh? inflammation of the brain covering so there will not be diarrhea so digestive system no problem there is no cough no respiratory system problem so or uh, without any symptom is usually considered only fever and only fever this is viral fever involvement of only mucous membrane rhinitis sometimes may be there watering of eyes and severe body ache in viral fever the most important is body ache is severe this is usually contagious so many family members are affected at the same time because of the viral fever so how to treat this viral fever symptomatic treatment i will prefer the ayurvedic management as maha sudarshana ganavati of bhagyanath company each and every family should have this maha sudarshan ganavati 60 tablets box in their home at their house because like your crocin this is more what you can say the interesting tablet because it doesn't cause any weakness like uh, crocin some people get uh, weakness after getting the crocin but maha sudarshan is ayurvedic tablet and is anti pyretic jwaragh isse fever kam ho jata hai maha sudarshan ganavati ke dwara to ye zyada dose mein leni padti hai fir koi sawal nahi uske koi side effects nahi hai three tablets morning three tablets afternoon three tablets in the evening 
but definitely your fever will be under control. Fever, bukhar jo hai, wo kam rahega, bilkul nikal jayega, ye mahasurashan ganavati ke lene ke baad. If high fever and severe body, then naturally you will have to go for some allopathic medicine like injection Voveron 2 ml intramuscular stat. Immediately the doctor see the patient that he has a very high fever like 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 103 degrees Fahrenheit and having severe body ache, then usually general medical practitioner use injection Voveron intramuscular immediately. So that means whenever the patient reaches the doctor, rest in bed. In all the viral uh, diseases, you must note this point, rest is essential, no bath, only spongy, and bland diet. This is very important. No spicy food stuff. No, uh, what you can say, the ready to cook like food substances or junk food is absolutely contraindicated. Higher fever, continuous cold sponging is essential to avoid the febrile convulsions. Now, we will discuss about influenza. Influenza is also called as a common cold or the scientific name is acute coryza. This is very acute infection. That means within a period of maximum 24 hours, the symptoms will start. Definition, infection and inflammation of nose and nasopharynx. That is influenza or the flu. In local language, local uh, colloquial language, it is called as a flu. Now, what are the causes? Etiology means causes, predisposing causes. Why, why the uh, person suffer from influenza? The person is already weak, W-E-A-K, debilitating diseases. For example, maybe diabetes, maybe uncontrolled hypertension, maybe uh, what you any, any immunocompromised diseases. Overcrowding in public places. The person, the patient has already visited to any crowded places like going to the cinema, going to the festivals, uh, etc. So definitely you will get the history of contacts with the person who ha has that particular cold, cough and fever. I usually call that as a CCF of GP. Uh, CCF of uh, ICU is different. When the patient admits in the hospital in the intensive care unit and you talk about CCF, that is related with the heart. Uh, that is uh, congestive cardiac failure. But when you talk about this influenza, what is CCF? Cold, cough and fever. So don't get confused with the CCF of hospital and CCF of GP. Uh, CCF of GP is a, a symptoms like cold, cough and fever. Okay, viruses. Influenza is caused by the virus, that is rhinovirus or coryza virus. What are the symptoms, clinical features? Watery secretions from nose mostly suggest allergic or viral etiology. Etiology means cause. There are many types of secretions, watery secretions, mucoid secretions, and uh, mucus with plus, pus, pus formation, okay? So, watery secretions is typical uh, feature of allergy and viral causes. And when that particular secretion becomes thick, uh, mucoid, or even it is uh, like a yellow color, green and yellow color of cuff, green and yellow color of the sputum, suggest that the person had uh, uh, additional bacterial infection, super added bacterial infection. Basically, he may have some simple viral infection, but then bacteria, bacteria attack on that particular patient and then sputum or the secretions become yellow. So yellow and green color. Remember these two colors are always suggesting infection where if necessary, you must give the antibiotics. Now, we are talking about viral infection, influenza, secretions from the nose. If color changes from white to yellow or green, it suggests super added bacterial infection due to pneumococci, streptococci or staphylococci and need the use of antibiotics. Influenza incubation period is very short, one to two days. Immediately, patients start the symptoms. Symptoms are acute in onset, running from nose, sneezing, sore throat, malaise, slight temperature. If bacterial invasion, persistence of temperature and purulent discharge from nose, headache will be there, pain over sinuses, pre-existent chronic lung diseases are ag ag aggravated. For example, if the person is having already emphysema, the problem breathlessness will increase. If the person is having bronchiectasis, then more and more uh, type of the expectoration will occur. If the patient has bronchial asthma, 
that particular breathlessness will also increase. Uh, next, treatment. Viral infections are usually self-limiting. This is very important. But advise the patient to take rest and avoid the causative factors. Nasi beyond nasal drops. Two drops, three times in a day. This is a decongestant. Do not use this particular nasal drops repeatedly. This drop may cause rebound congestion. That means temporarily for one, two, three hours, the patient will be all right. But again, nasal blocking will be there. Again drops, again nasal blocking uh, next uh, within uh, two hours. So this particular repetition and the recurrence is a side effect of these nasivion nasal drops or any allopathic type of the nasal drops. In spite of you can use the Ayurvedic uh, type of the nascha treatment, for example, Anutaila nascha, or you can use the uh, prad, uh, what uh, what it called as a different types of the oil drops are available. You can use it like Panchendriya Vardhana Taila, etc. There are different types of the nasal drops. Tablet Zyrtec D, this is anti allergic. Uh, Cetrizine, this is generic name and this is brand name. Zyrtec D, this is antihistaminic. The meaning of antihistaminic and anti allergic is the same. Uh, so it works against the allergy. One tablet morning and evening for five days, but be cautious. I, I am giving warning signal here because this anti allergic, anti histaminic medicines are always cause the drowsiness to the patient. So, better I never give in the morning. I usually give only at night. Better way, don't take this tablet in the morning. And after taking this tablet, you must stay at home. Don't go to the college, don't go to the school, don't go to the offices, don't go to your services, and don't drive any vehicle. Don't work near the machines, don't work near the electricity, don't go for uh, any water, uh, water reservoir. Huh? Be careful because it can cause the sleepiness or the drowsiness. When nasal discharge is thick, yellow purulent capsule mox, that is amoxicillin, 500 milligram morning and one in the evening. So for now, I will explain some of the prescriptions by Ayurveda for influenza or the flu. TK4, Tribhuvana Kirti 4, two tablets, three times in a day. Then Jvaram Kusha Rasa. Many companies are manufacturing, but this is Hari Parashuram Aushadhalay Pune. Jvaram Kusha Rasa, two tablets, three times in a day with ginger juice. Sitopaladi Churna, two tablets, three times in a day. This is the name of the company, ISN company. Many companies are manufacturing this Sitopaladi Churna. Churna means powder. Even Sitopaladi Churna tablets are also available of few companies. So you can use the tablets. Then in spite of this uh, Jvarankush and all this, you can use the uh, above three drugs. You can use Nagaguti, that is uh, Ayurveda Sashara Pune, one tablet, three times in a day. And iske saath Parijata Guti, uh, two tablets three times in a day. But again, I have warned here, this Naga Guti is very, very, very hot. Hmm? That means Pushna Guna Dharma, uh, hot property. So never give this tablet to the Pitta predominant patient or uh, the person is having any bleeding disorders. For example, thalassemia patient or the patients having on the Ecospring tablet, Aspirin tablet uh, or the platelet count problem. Uh, or the dengue fever, never use this Nagabuti. This is very hot and this is a Pitta Prakopak. So if the already there is a Pitta that will increase, gastritis will start. So it is only useful in Kafaja type of the uh, fever, Kafaja Jvara. Whenever there is a more cough with uh, yellow and green sputum, then you can use this. And a person is very stout and sturdy and Kafa predominant Prakruti, you can use the Nagabuti. Okay. Another prescription, uh, these are the different medicines. Flu 5, Ayurved Seva Sangha Nashik, three tablets, three times in a day. Then Curil, tablet of Charak, two tablets, three times in a day. And Penex, again of Charak, two tablets, three times in a day. So this is one of the prescription. Last was another. This is another. Here again, another prescription. Now this is the nearly about fourth prescription. So the doctor will decide which type of the medicines. But these are the different medicines that you can use for Influenza, Tribhuvana Kirti, two tablets, three times in a day. This is very famous tablet, but again, be careful. This can cause Pitta Prakopa. So never give in the patients who are very delicate, uh, in the very old and very uh, small age, and Pitta dominant Prakriti, any bleeding problems, never use Tribhuvana Kirti. Then Jvaragna Kvath, 
Uh, this is four teaspoon with equal amount of water two times after meals. Now, next prescription, nearly fifth prescription, Mahasudarshana Ganavati, one, two tablets three times in a day with Lakshmi Vilasa Rasa into bracket Kas. Kas means cough. Uh, Lakshmi Vilasa Rasa Kas, Bajjana Company, one tablet three times in a day with Tulsi juice. Last prescription, that is uh, Agu mixture, uh, four teaspoon with equal amount of water after meals and Ananda Bhairava Jwara or Ananda Bhairava Kas. Uh, two tablets three times in a day with fresh ginger juice and honey. In high fever, if uh, persistent above 102 degrees Fahrenheit fever is present, then cold water sponging is essential every five minutes and external application of sandalwood paste on the forehead. Chandrakala Ras Ayurvedic tablet plus Laghu Sutta Shekhar one half tablet every half hourly. You have to give this tablet with honey and a ghee. Okay? Then if high fever is present, another prescription, Kamadudha is Pitta Ghna, 250 mg, plus Pravada Basma, 250 mg, plus Godanti Mishrana, 100 mg. This particular paste you have to give every three hourly till the temperature is normal. So here you see the Kamadudha, Pravada and Godanti. Next prescription for high fever, Lakshmi Narayana Ras, 60 mg, Swarna Sutta Shekhar Ras, 60 mg, and Mrugashranga Basma 200 mg every 3 hourly with Gorochanadi Gulika 1 tablet every 2 hourly. My dear friends, this is regarding the viral fever and the lecture about influenza or the flu. Kai Chikitsa lecture for 3rd or 4th BMS according to the CCM syllabus paper 1 part B point number 1 about the fever and we have discussed about viral fever and the influenza. But Vaidani Kishara, ye educational videos rehne ke karan kaunsi bhi bimari mein yatha avashak yatha kaal vaidhi ke salah lena bahut hi jirurat hai. If you are suffering from any cerebral palsy, arthritis, diabetes, heart problem, MND, motor neuron disease, cancer, Alzheimer, uh, hyperactive disorders, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic or autoimmune diseases, I have Ayurveda Academy has the team of expert doctors and expert professors. So you can WhatsApp me on 9226810630 for paid online consultation or paid online BMS classes. So I request all of you to like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also press the button icon. I wish you all the best in your life. I wish you happy, healthy, and long life. Take care. Bye-bye.